Hello everybody, welcome all to ZAPR and ZAP Academy. This will be our third video for our Wim learning series and in this video we'll be talking about the non-peer invoice process. As a part of our earlier learning series on Wim, the part 1 talks about the Wim overview and the part 2 talks about the Wim architecture. And we have already understood how Wim plays a very crucial role in efficient invoice processing and how it fits into the procure to pay cycle. And before we move ahead, let's understand certain key Wim roles that will help us to go through the end to end Wim invoice processing. And these key Wim roles will be either an AP processor or a buyer or a receiver or it could be an approver or it could be an information provider or a service requester or a service approver. So these are the key Wim roles that will help us to go through the all the actions involved in a Wim invoice processing. Now let's understand steps involved for an processing an NPO invoice. So the first step involves wherein the invoice comes into the system and this could be either via an email mechanism or a user could be scanning the invoice or it could be by any means. Post the invoice has incoming into the system, then it will go for an OCR for data extraction. And then it needs to be validated via either the indexer or validator. Post the validation and the scanning of the invoice, then it will go for a duplication check where it will check whether such the same invoice has already been processed via the system or not. And then it will further go ahead to the tax expert role for maintaining the tax and then further to the coder or AP processor for accounting or coding of the invoice. Post the accounting stage is completed, it will go to the requester for filling in the requisitioner and other key important information and then finally the approval workflow will be triggered so that it can go via multiple levels of approver and post all the levels of workflow, approval workflow has been completed, the DP document will get posted. So now further understand that apart from the DP workflow, we also talked about an additional non peer approval workflow. So this both involved will help us to initiate the DP workflow as well as the NPO approval workflow. And regarding the NPO approval workflow, all the levels of workflow will be fetched from the COA as in the chart of authority and the user map. And regarding the DP workflow, all the re different relevant roles that the workflow needs to be triggered to will be triggered via either the functional module or by an org unit and these will help to determine the various different roles to whom the workflow will be triggered to and the workflow will get completed only when some of these activities will occur such as an SAP document will get created or an exception will be resolved or a path document will be posted, deleted or cancelled. So now that we have understood about the different steps involved in a non p invoice processing along with the understanding of the non p approval workflow, let's understand the Wim workplace. And this Wim workplace allows the users to display all the list of work items based on multiple different criteria that the user specifies. The Wim workplace helps the user to have access to the Wim dashboard, the workflow logs, etc., with just a single click. It allows the AP managers to view all the work items of the team efficiently. And they have got multiple different tabs such as My Inbox, My Pending, My Completed to check current, pending, and the completed DP documents, respectively. And the T code that we use for navigating to the Wim workplace is slash n slash opt slash Wim underscore WP. Now that we have got a fair information on a Wim workplace, so let's move ahead to understand the different exception validations that invoice has to go through. And as we all know that the system will check through all the exceptions and will notify the user in the same sequence that it is configured in the system. And based on the exception that gets arised, the user has the options to send the invoice to other agents for further invoice processing or they themselves need to act upon the invoice to ensure that that exception gets resolved and the number of exceptions failed per vendor's invoice will help us to get the key matrix so as to improve the data that comes in from the vendor. And 
once all the exceptions are resolved then in the invoice can further go ahead for processing some of the key non po exceptions that gets arised are like an invalid vendor or a kind of invalid currency or invalid requester or an approval required note that wim 7.5 based on configuration provides around 183 process types which could check for the business rules and generate the exceptions if these rules are not satisfied and as we all know that these exceptions will fall in the same sequence as it is configured in the system and the chart of authority will help to determine the coder and the approver that will help to resolve the exception related to the approval required exception which gets triggered and the workflow will trigger till the invoice reaches the approver that has the approved dollar amount that will match the invoice and these all settings are done as a part of the chart of authority so now if we take this example of a non pay invoice processing we'll first go to the wim workplace wherein we have got the option to switch to multiple work views such as a personal work view or an other users work view or the entire teams view or the all users view once we go to as the desired work view then we will navigate to the work item to which we need to act upon and all these dp documents will be available in the wim workplace in the my inbox tab of the user once we are in the dp document id as in the work item that we need to work upon if we click on simulate rules it will give us the list of the entire exceptions that have failed during the ocr all these exceptions helps the user to perform different options and as we talked about either they may need to refer it to any other agent so that they can act upon and resolve that exceptions or if the need be the agent themselves may need to act upon to get that exception resolved in this case if we see here an exception invalid currency has got triggered so if we enter the correct currency and save and then if we click on apply rules or if we click on simulate rules the exception will get resolved and the status will be green so all the changes that are relevant to the particular dp doc id are made inside the dp document as per the exception that gets raised then the changes are saved and then that apply rules process option gets triggered for the system to recognize the next exception that either it needs to arise or if all the exceptions are resolved then the apply rules will take it to the further next business rules that it needs to follow through so all the dp document resides in my pending of the ap process of workplace and based on the coa mapping the invoice is routed to the coder for the coding of the invoice if the system doesn't find any more exceptions then the approval workflow gets triggered once the approval workflow gets triggered the approver has to either approve or reject the invoice if the approver approves the invoice it will trigger the workflow to the next approver if applicable and the next approver will be fetched via the coa configuration as soon as the approver clicks on approve and if the approver clicks on reject then it the workflow will be triggered to the pre previous agent so the dp document can be approved or reject after coding at any stage once the document goes through the series of approvals as per the hierarchy maintained in coa which we already discussed about then the dp document will get posted if at any stage if any rejection happens the non po approval workflow will get terminated and again it needs to again restart from scratch so that until and unless the approval workflow gets completed the dp document cannot get posted so finally to make you understand how the wim invoice flow happens through once the invoice comes in for approval it will go to my inbox and once the invoice has been acted upon by all the approvers and all the levels of approval flow then it will go to the my completed of the wim workplace for all the users once all the approval has been completed and the dp document has got posted so the dp document goes through approval workflow for approval and all this coding details are maintained in coa and finally the document is processed and approved and with this the approval workflow as well as the dp document will get posted and once the dp document gets posted finally it could be it can get ahead and get moved to the fico queue for further payment and processing of the invoice and this is how the end to end processing of the npo invoice happens via the wim solution i hope you got 
all the relevant details to understand how the NPO invoice processing happens via WIM and how along with the DP workflow, the NPO approval workflow also gets triggered, which is very crucial for the NPO invoice processing. Thanks for watching and keep subscribing.